right when I want to film. Right now, I want to do something that I dreaded. But it's good for me to do because it's important for myself as a musician, as an artist, to be self-conscious and build off of what I used to be, how I can improve and keep striving. One way to do that, I don't always do this because I also don't want to be tied to the past. One way I do this sometimes though is to look back at my old videos. This particularly I would like to do for Schumann Sonata because I'm playing as of today that I'm filming in 18 days at a very significant concert debut in Dresden Festival. Also something that I will tell you Actually, I'm releasing this video on Schumann's birthday, so maybe by then I can tell you what I'm holding back from telling you. Anyway, I'm playing this Schumann Sonata for the first time in person in Dresden. I've played it on a live stream concert, which perhaps some of you remember from 2020. I played for my first time ever there and i thought when i was making this dresden festival concert program that i would like to play something that i have yet to play with a live in-person audience it's very different to play with nobody in the audience even though you were there virtually behind your screens i do know that i have changed i watched a few seconds and cringed at myself a lot but i thought i would do this on camera for you so you can kind of see what I think of myself and my music interpretations and what I see myself improving on now. From last video that I posted, somebody mentioned, it seems your attitude has become more relaxed about everything and it shows in your playing as well for the better, of course. That is how I feel and thank you for noticing and that's something that I've been working on, especially for the past year. And I know I'm the exact opposite of that which is why I cringed a lot. But I also want to see if there are any additional things that I have not thought of. Because when I picked up an old piece, I naturally kind of fall back a little bit to how I used to play it the last time I played it. So I've already been trying to undo a lot of the things that I did not like. But I haven't really watched this again since I did the undoing. <laughs> I knew this was an issue. I sound pathetic in a way that's rooted in a lot of desperation and angst for things that don't exist, if that makes any sense. Just to give you a bit of context of how I sound with the opening now, basically I play a lot more in time. <laughs> This is a funny part. So funny to me because I did not realize the emphasis was off until a few days ago. Do you hear the difference? It's because I was taking way too much time. keep in time it's so annoying to me also because schumann had one of his advices for young musicians play in time and uh well this was before my official start of this schumann study project phase when i actually read a lot of what schumann wrote this was before that so i didn't know that yet 
that annoys me because it disrupts the flow and the transitions. Things just kind of are in different patches, something that is very um, jaggered, is that the word? Jagged, yeah, a little bit jagged, but also it's not a united whole and it does not flow. Like individually, I sound passionate, but no. Everything is just yelling, a lot of yelling. I didn't really know how to control the piano as well. The thing is, I start on the instead of. It's so much nicer when it's actually. It's so indulgent if I break things up like this. Also, wow, I play it so much slower. I do learn something from this. I was so tense. I don't want this to be like an ego thing looking back at my old videos and then feeling proud that I have I am that I have have I have oh my gosh my English that I have changed and improved a little bit. I now play much more in time and less of that just a lot of seasickness. But the middle section is interesting how I One thing I learned from this is that I somehow controlled the piano a lot softer in the middle stuff. So... I'm going to spend a little bit of time working on the technical things. I had got one idea from my old playing. Somehow I played parts of that a lot more calm ish ish. I mean, I was not a calm person. Around this time, I can really tell what was my mental state. I was on turbo. My YouTube was kind of blowing up thanks to you guys and I had just gotten this Steinway on loan from them six months ago. I had just moved to this apartment thanks to the support of my Patreon patrons and so a lot of new things were happening. I had just founded my charity together with Classical. I had all these existential angst behind the scenes, driving a lot of ideas that I wanted to express, to create, to do. Chaotic, you can hear that desperation. <laughs> or I can hear the desperation. That's what I'm guessing that I was thinking back in 2020. Some people were complaining, I mean, rightly so in some ways, that I was moving so much. I move a lot in general, but this is really a bit much. Not to encourage hate comments or mean comments or comments that are just pointing out flaws in other people, but um, yeah, I would say that is not something that I strived for. I'm a little bit embarrassed <laughs> that um, this is out and that 
somehow people enjoyed it at the time, including some of my friends. They must have a lot of empathy. I mean, yeah, I don't know. I hope that you will enjoy even more by playing in Dresden or whenever I decide to play the sonata again in the future, I'm gonna practice this little part. And just in general, I would like to now spend some time to practice. If you want to know how I usually practice or hear how I practice, you can go to my Patreon. You know, I would be curious what you think about your own playing or work three years ago. See you in Dresden or the next video, whatever it is. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. You know how I said I was calm or calmer? Suddenly meetings are popping up in a very exciting way. That is not really normal. <laughs> I'm excited. I hope you're excited with me. I can't tell you yet what I'm talking about, but I will, I promise. Yeah, <laughs> subscribe or follow me. <laughs> I don't like to self-plug, but it's so exciting. I don't want to be as frenzied as I was still back then. So gotta still stay calm, keep calm despite the good things and exciting things happening. <laughs>